Staying home during the pandemic has revived the culinary spirit for so many, and it's also brought people back into the kitchen to experiment and prepare more meals for the family. And many have also learned correctly following a recipe is just as important as the equipment used to cook your dish. Michelin star chef Curtis Stone joins us now to highlight the latest cooking trends and innovations for a more efficient, modern, and connected kitchen. Welcome, Chef Curtis. How you doing? We're doing really well. We're so excited to have you on the show. First off, tell us how people are embracing the kitchen more these days. Well, uh, because we have to. I mean, we're all at home. You know, we're doing all sorts of things we never dreamt of, like running a school, running an office from home, um, and cooking three nights, three meals a day, seven days a week. And the truth is, there's a beautiful part of that as well. You know, I've been working with Bosch for some time, and they just did a survey. 80% of Americans are saying that they've tried or are about to try a brand new recipe. 60% of Americans are saying that they're going to upgrade their kitchen. So that's a brilliant trend. You know, the more um, we have at our fingertips, the easier it is. You know, in, 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 in getting that technology into your homes and into your kitchens is just genius. I'm cooking on an induction cooktop right now, and this has got a, f it's my favorite function. It's got, it's called the power move. Now, all you do is you preset it to power move, uh -huh. and then it presets your, your cooktop to a nine, right, which is the power level, of course. So that's full power. Now, if I want to turn that down, guess what? Sorry, I just push it into the middle, and it just turned to a five. Wow. If I want to turn it down again, I push it to the end, and it just turns itself to a 1.5. So it really is a game changer in terms of not having to touch a dial or adjust anything. If the doorbell rings, you can just stick it on the back burner and go off, and you just turned it down. So, you know, that kind of technology, I think, that Bosch has brought to the kitchen is a real... Um, it, it just makes life simpler, and that's what we all Yeah, want, that's pretty right? cool because, you know, before all this tech, you're worried, like, did I leave something on? Did I put it away? So right. it's really cool to see how that that tech is being incorporated into spaces like the kitchen. What other tips do you have mm -hmm. if we want to be more efficient with our kitchen space? Well, I think getting rid of some stuff, editing some things out, that's important. So I'm putting a crumb on right here. Now, you might have a little toaster oven or a cheese broiler or whatever. Well, guess what? You don't need it anymore. So for all the things that we don't need, we can get rid of. For instance, I can broil this without even preheating the broil function in my oven in 90 seconds. It comes out super crispy and wonderful. We have ovens now that can air fry, that are self-cleaning, that have a barbecue broil mode. So, you know, once you've got um, an appliance that has all of these functions, you can actually edit down some of the stuff that you don't need. Maybe donate it or, or give, it to, give it to somebody else. But, you know, when you, when you are upgrading your kitchen, it's important that you really think about how you how you live and how you cook. For me, my family, they're ice obsessed. <laughs> my <laughs> kids are constantly in the ice bin. And I use it as well. You know, I use it when I'm blanching veggies, for instance. Uh -huh. I, I, I have an ice bath right there. So, you know, for us, it was important to go and get a wonderful um, refrigerator that had a great ice drawer. So the Quick Ice Pro refrigerates the fastest ice maker on the market, and to us, that made real sense. But again, it's very personal, you know. So I think really doing the research, giving it a little bit of thought and planning uh, will just enable you to be cooking like a pro in no time. <laughs> yeah, I want to cook just like you. And speaking of cooking, you're... You're plating some food. I'm getting hungry. We've got the big game. Valentine's Day also is coming up. What are, what are you making over yeah. there? So this was the pasta bake. It was a macaroni and cheese, right? Just simple. But then I put all of that blanched vegetable, which snaps in the nutrition by blanching and then stopping it cooking in an ice bath. Uh, broccoli, cauliflower. You can put any veggies you want into a macaroni and cheese. And then by broiling the top with that little crumb, you get that crispiness on top and still that beautiful sort of succulent um, texture underneath. So, you know, again, just being in control of your cooking is the most important thing. And in professional kitchens, we've used this technology for some time, and now the home's catching up. You know, you mentioned connection, connectivity. You can preset an oven from a smartphone. You can <laughs> brew a coffee from laying in bed. You know, there's some really cool technology out there. And once you embrace it, you're like, oh my goodness, how did I live without it? <laughs> Chef Curtis, it has been so fun talking to you. You make it look so easy. We appreciate you joining us this morning. <laughs> Great info. We'll post this segment so you can revisit it on our website, yourcalifornialife.com.